Okay, so I'm going to do the best I can. The Lord gave me a revelation and I have to, have to, have to, have to share. I have to share. The keys to the kingdom. Keys to the kingdom in order to get out of Egypt, in order to get out of bondage. We have to, we have to put on grace. Grace, grace, G-R-A-C-E, grace, 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 grace. That's why the devil hates it so bad. He hates it. Because the key to being freed from our bondage is grace. The Lord revealed unto me a while back, and so it's several videos back, but when, when Peter denied Christ... Peter was really down on himself. He went off by himself. He went in the, I think, in the boat and in, in, into the middle of the Sea of Galilee and was in a really bad place. And we've all been there. I was just there. I will confess. And in this b bad place, the devil likes to beat us up. He likes to make us think things that aren't true, but we believe them because in the natural this is what societies and cultures have taught us to believe. This this is our our mindset as a human being. It's natural. It's normal. It's what it's just what we do, but it's incorrect. Jesus comes to Peter and asks Peter three times. Peter, do you love me? If you look this up in the Strong's. It means, Peter, pick yourself up. I love you. And do the Father's will. Do my will for your life. This is what it says, basically, with understanding in the Strong's Concordance. Of Peter, do you love me? Feed my sheep. He tells Peter, pick your, I love you. Pick, pick yourself up and do the will of the Father. Because we get in a place of a not good place. Everybody's been there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You get into a place where the devil is just kicking the crap out of you. Mentally. Puts you in bondage. Mentally puts you in prison. And the answer is grace. Grace. Put on grace as a garment. Put grace on as a garment. Please. Because the devil hates it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because that that is what Jesus did. That's what it was. We didn't deserve it, you guys. Do you understand? We didn't deserve for him to die for us. We didn't. We put him up there. In his grace. In his love and in his grace. He saved us. And that is why the devil hates it so badly and that is what frees you grace mercy love renewing your mind and knowing that yeah i i screwed up you guys i screwed up big time and i was like mm, in a really 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 bad place beating myself well i wouldn't beat myself up saint was beating me up but beating me up pretty good there for a for a moment <laughs> until Worship, you guys, it's worship music. You've got to have worship music. The worship music is just, if the Lord will lead you to the right to the right song at the right moment in time when you need it, it's worship, you guys. And the worship, like, clears the air. Like the air up here in our brain, all that matted cobweb mess in our brain, the worship clears it out, and we can think and see clearly, and the Lord can renew our mind and tell us things so i just wanted to pass that along grace put it on love it live it and give it to others give it out to others there is no reason to be ashamed the lord god sees everything he already knows there's no reason to be ashamed he already knows what are you hiding we don't hide anything from the Lord God. Revelation says they'll run into the rocks and caves to hide from the Almighty. Meaning, they think they can. You cannot. He already knows. There is no shame. We have no shame. Shame is removed. 
Shame was nailed to the cross. We aren't ashamed of anything. So with that, with that, put on grace. All right, guys. All right. Love you. I pray you receive this. Lord Jesus, let them receive it. Wave after wave after wave of after wave of your mercy and your grace and your love. Let them receive it, Lord Jesus. Amen.